Look at that. Glossy water spots. From that to that. What's going on guys? It's your boy bringing you another video. Thanks for tuning in. Um, today we're gonna be detailing my sea -Doo, getting all the water spots out of it. This thing looks absolutely disgusting right now in the sunlight. Uh, let me show you guys. There we go. You kind of see that. Yeah, you can see that. Look at all those water spots. They're everywhere. Look at that. When we're done, this is gonna look like a mirror. And uh, I'm just gonna be using my drill over there. And I bought this buffing kit from Harbor Freight. So uh, it comes with the back piece. It's supposed to go on a like a pneumatic air sander. Comes with a buffing piece. Um, let me find the rest of this stuff. So this kit that I got from Harbor Freight comes with this back plate, this yellow buffing pad, this wool buffing pad which I'm gonna use to finish, and this other white pad. Uh, and I got this for like 15 bucks. You would find something similar to this cheaper on Amazon, but I was already there, so I just thought. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's not really much to it really use the drill, wax on, wax off. Um, I did remove some pieces, like there was a trim piece here, a uh, trim piece here, just so, because it ends here for that, you know what I mean? Just to get a little bit better detail. I'm not gonna remove this, because I really don't want to take that off. Took the seat off, um, I could take this off to get like under here and stuff. But then again, once you have the seat on, you're not really gonna see all that. Um, and yeah, so let's get to it. Now for all of you professional detailers, um, this is probably not the right way to do this. The right way would probably be to use a dual action polisher. Um, cause those don't leave scratches, or not scratches, but this is basically more likely to leave swirls than a dual action polisher. Um, but I mean, I'm getting pretty good results and I'm not really seeing any scratches. But uh, let me show you guys how I'm uh, doing this on here. So I basically I'm gonna take my wax. This is good for uh, gel coats, which is what's on most boats and jet skis. Uh, we're gonna take this foam applicator, put some dots on here, and we're gonna just press it in on the area we're gonna clean. So something like that. We're just gonna do something like this. And then we'll start buffing it. And you don't want to apply pressure, and you want to avoid getting this thing, the lip on the side of the back plate, onto the to the paint, because the back plate will scratch the paint. And as you can see, it's doing a pretty good job. Alright guys, so I took a break earlier, I wasn't really filming. Um, but I got like 50-55% of the jet ski done. I got the whole other side done. I gotta do this half here. You can't tell under this light, but I still need to do it. And then I got up to like here on this side. So as of right now, I'm just gonna put back together these plastic pieces that go on here and then finish the rest tomorrow. Alright guys, so it is the next day and I'm ready to get this seed done and all polished up. Yesterday I cleaned this um, pad that I was using. I was using this one in the beginning, but it seemed to take longer to get the water spots out with this one than it, than it did with this one. Yesterday where I left off, I did this whole piece right here. I did this. Um, now I gotta go from here this way, 
all the way into about here and then this portion in the back and then it will be done and I also need to do this side um, you can see it there all the water spots and if we come over here or even this side looks brand new Alright guys, I just pulled out the sea dew out in the sun and I'm going to show you the final result. This thing is looking pretty plain now. No more water spots. Alright guys, I hope you all like this video. I wish I could have recorded more footage of me actually doing the work, but I didn't have a cameraman. But anyways, if you guys want to try this at home, it's really easy and gets the job done. Alright guys, see you in the next video. Peace.